Hi guys, Rui here from Blender Bros and this video is for everyone who thinks that time is too valuable to waste it. Let's go. Alright, so in this video we're going to be talking about cables, we're going to be using cable editor, so go ahead and get it because you will regret if you don't. Link in the video description, it's an affiliate link. I appreciate that. So now let's look into this add-on. I have videos on Cablerator, but I recently looked into documentation after the update and I was blown the fuck away. I mean, shit you can do with this stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna show you some cool tricks. We're gonna do the basic stuff first, uh, you know, so you're up to speed and then we're gonna move on to some really crazy stuff I didn't even know you can do. Uh, now, if you're really into add-on workflow, we have a fantastic course for you. It's Sci-Fi Terminal design in blender go ahead and get it it's free link in the video description so cable rater guys yeah that shit is amazing so now uh, the basics okay let's go through the basics uh, shift alt and c that's the command to open the menu now you have different options here and um you know let's just deselect everything and don't worry about the bottom the top two are the most important one at the moment so the first one create cable Click that and now you can choose between two different objects to run a cable between. So we're going to select this one and you're going to select this one and you're going to get a cable. If you want to run that cable in the middle of a selected face, all you need to do is hold control while doing that. So click here, click here and you're going to get cable from the middle to the middle, which is really important when you're running it to a circle, for example, right? Let's talk about what we can do with it. This menu is open and live because we haven't deselected the cable. So I can press S to scale it, press D to increase the tension. Then I can also uh, increase the resolution because you see it's a bit jagged. So I can press X and press F and move my mouse. When I move my mouse off the screen, the cable editor is going to stop. So you're going to stop somewhere here, click, move your mouse here, press F, do it again. You know, a bit of a hiccup, but it's okay. Now the network here, the, you know, the wireframe is going to be a bit skewed. So what you can do is press H to fix it. Okay. And you're good to go. Then press X to remove the wireframe. Beautiful. Now the fun starts. When you press B, you're going to be able to cycle between different, you know, presets of uh, curve settings because this cable is run based on the curve preset that you can see here. So we got this kind of a stuff, okay? Which is really insane. So you can create, you know, really cool cables with literally few clicks. So that's one. You can have your custom uh, profile if you want to. So you can create a custom profile out of curves. Press A, click on the profile, and you're going to get it selected. So, you know, you can make your own. And lastly, if you're printing this thing, what you can do, you press C to add uh, the fill caps for the cable at the beginning and the end, okay? So that's the basic of, you know, of the cable creation. But now the fun part starts, okay? What you can do with this new cable rater, you can press Shift-Alt-C and you can go to Simulate Cable. And once you do that, you're going to see this menu. So by default, these numbers are 0 and 1, and you can increase it to 1 in here. That's going to basically stretch the cable down. And this menu and this option is basically for creating kind of like a gravity pull down, kind of like a sagging of a cable. So uh, this one is for, you know, the length. And this one is a multiplier for the points. Normally, cable has three points. One, two, three. That curve has three points, three handles, right? So this one is going to multiply it and push it up to four, okay? So you can, you know, increase an amount of these handles across the cable to increase the resolution. So when you drop it uh, on some kind of a more complex surface, it's going to be a bit more accurate, okay? So when I press OK, this happens. I mean, is it cool or what? So now we got this naturally sagging cable and it's just brilliant. So now you can see here that this part is a bit straight. But if I edit more points here, so I would just make it a bit more, you know, um, at a bit more resolution, you will see the difference. Boom. See what I mean? So it's going to be a bit more accurate here. So it depends what kind of cable you are after. And then, you know, you may have to fix a little bit here, you know, these things. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, you can just, you know, rotate it, make it larger, whatever the hell you want, and fix this cable a bit. But, you know, it's brilliant, right? So there you go. Now, in addition to that, what we can do, let me just go back to the previous state. Uh, so we're going to go here, we'll see that cable. 
We're gonna go with a little bit less points and maybe not as droopy, so something like that. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the insert with kitops. You can also get kitops for free. Uh, there's a link in the video description. And you can get the inserts I'm using also for free. They on Gumroad and they are by Master Zeon 1001, the creator of hard ops and box cutters. So you can grab this one and add an insert. Inserts come with names. I don't know why, don't ask me, ask Jerry. And we're gonna uh, remove this rubbish here because we don't need it. So we're going to go to name, where the hell is it? Viewport display is the one, names, and remove that. Here, we're going to remove this color because we don't need it. So we're gonna remove the mat. Uh, go to edit mode, select everything, alt H, because for some reason, ha half of these uh, you know faces are hidden. Don't ask me why. But anyway, so we're gonna use that one as a cap here for the, for the end of it. So we're gonna select this one, shift select this cable, and then we're going to go to edit mode, select these two endings with uh, shift and hold shift alt C, and then we're going to add connectors. And we got two connectors at the end of this cable. Now, we can press D to move these connectors in and out. Okay, that's one. You can also press T to change the scale, so you can make them bigger or smaller, okay? You can also, all right, press S to adjust the cable itself, so it actually fits a little bit better in the middle of them. So this is absolutely brilliant. You can press A to flip direction if, you know, you want to flip it um, 180 degrees, and you can also unhook them, but I would not recommend it. Um, from the from this cube and now when you're going to move this okay it's hooked to the cable so you can move these points with i mean this is just brilliant so you can still readjust you know this entire structure now in addition to that we have more okay so shift d y and copy that here and i'm going to make it a little bit longer like this and i'm going to apply scale so control I apply scale i'm going to select this one shift select this one uh, shift alt c and we're going to add segment now that's really cool so we're going to press d to move it and we're going to move it somewhere here okay somewhere here like that all right cool click and then we can do quite a few things. So we offset this segment by pressing D, but we can also tilt it by pressing F, which is crazy. So you can, you know, you can sort of rotate it the way you want it. It's mental. Then you can array it, okay? So you can press uh, A to array it, then press C, and you can move your mouse to create more arrays. Move your mouse here, click, and then press C again and move it again. Because, you know, like I said, when you move it off screen, it stops working, so you need to be careful. Kind of done here, so we can click, and you got this insane freaking cable done within seconds. And check this out. I mean, this is still gonna move with the cable. I mean, you know, come on, guys. Fourteen dollars. Give me a fucking break. But this is nowhere near scratching the surface, okay? Because the good stuff is coming. Let's delete that and let's go here to the cube. Shift D. And I'm going to now select both cubes and select these two faces. I'm going to right click and subdivide them, shift R, maybe not that many. And I'm going to create, you know, select one, two, three, four, five faces here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's five for edit, uh, but let's do something like this, okay? Uh, faces here, right. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, run a multi cable from uh, these points to these points. Shift Alt C, and we're going to go here and we're going to create mass from selected faces and there you go i mean how cool is that one more time okay awesome now you got the same functions with these okay so you can group them you can make them you know you can increase the size of them you can even press n to um sort of uh, add some tension but ununiformly so it's not going to be uniform then you can actually randomize by pressing q which face to which face these cables are going. I mean, it's just mental. So they can go from the same face to the same face, or, you know, they can go randomly across. So let's say we want to go for something a bit more organized. You gotta be careful not to click off because it's gonna cancel. Then we can press H to fix the, um, uh, the rotation of this cage. Unfortunately, the X key doesn't work in here, so you can't see that, uh, you know, but that's about it. You can also add the caps and you can randomize it, right? So like I told you, 
Cool, and then you can actually change profiles. So you can press B to change profile of each of them, which is just, you know, absolutely mental, okay? So you can do that, all right, cool. So let's apply that. So if you wanna increase the, uh, you know, resolution of these, just press Control one, for example, it's gonna do the same thing. Awesome. You think that you probably cannot add cups to all of these at the same time. Well, you know, you can. So let me show you how to do this. Add an insert. I'm not gonna be removing the name because I can't be bothered, but I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Shift click this and go to edit mode. Deselect everything. B, select these. B, select these. Shift Alt C, okay, and uh, basically add connectors. And I'm, I'm, I mean, come on, guys, come on. All right, so there you go. Now you can also drop them down as well. So you can go to simulate cable and you can use the same technique and you can, you know, drop all of them. It's going to take a bit of time because it needs to compute for several cables. But how cool is this? But wait, this is, you know, we're not done yet, guys. So watch this. Um, I'm going to be actually uh, creating like insulation here. So let's say I wanted to grab this cable here and I'm going to bring it, you know, I'm going to rotate it a bit like this and I'm going to bring it closer here to, you know, to the structure like this, all right, and uh, to create this kind of illusion that they sort of bound together in here, right, you know, something like this uh, here in the middle, you know, so they're kind of closer together, right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, you, you get my drift, right, just move them closer together, we're going to select them, we're going to press shift alt c, and we're going to go to insulate and just draw with the left mouse button two uh, sort of lines like that. And you got this insulation on top of it. So then press S to scale it and you got yourself a cable wrapping. I mean, come on. So then you can add a mod to it with hard ops. Okay. And on top of that, you can run a decal. I mean, check this out. We can grab this one, go here and let's say, I don't know, drop this one, for example, right? And we can adjust it here. Let's drop this decal somewhere here. So it's gonna be indication of I don't know number of this cable, whatever the hell. Adjust and just rotate it D, project, and you're good to go. And you got this kind of a situation, right? Now you can create some bands. So you can get the rope and just simply draw like this. Uh, with your mouse, press D to you know change the tension, press S to scale them, and you got something like this. Uh, that's that, but there's more, okay? So let me show you something <laughs> really cool. So we have this cube here, and um, I'm going to just simply very quickly emulate some sort of an environment here. I mean, I'm going to drop this down, put some, you know, a loop here, Control b that, and we're going to add some, you know, add some E and Alt S and move them in here just a little bit. And then we're going to grab this one in the middle and insert it like that. And we're going to, you know, extrude it here. So now if I wanted to, you know, run a cable here, that's quite easy. I'm just going to, you know, go Shift Alt C and I'm going to draw a cable here like that. And it's going to be straight. Now, if I wanted to drop this cable, all I need to do is uh, Shift Alt C, go to Helpers, and click on Drop Cable, which is here. The problem with this one is going to drop the entire cable. But what you can do is go here to Edit Mode, select these points in Edit Mode, which will exclude them from the equation, right? Shift Alt C, go here and drop the cable, and boom. Now watch this. So I'm going to go here, grab this element. I'm going to press Ctrl plus and press F and then I'm going to actually, you know, extrude it down. Grab this cable, Shift Alt C and drop the cable, right? Let me just go to edit mode, Shift Alt C, drop the cable. I mean, how cool is this? How cool is this? You can do this with multiple cables too, okay? Just saying. Let me just expand it a bit here and I'm going to draw a cable. So let's go to top view. I'm going to add some bevel so you can see what the hell is going on. And we're going to go to Shift Alt C and draw a cable. Now, when you draw a cable, you know, you just draw a cable. Don't worry about the jagged the edges. Cable is going to smooth it out for you, okay? So let's just uh, draw it again. So I'm going to draw a more or less a cable here. And, you know, there you go. And it's going to follow the, the environment if you draw it from the top, which is pretty cool, right? So I can actually move this one a little bit here to, to you know, to, to maybe to the left to just make it a bit more natural and here to the right, right? And you got this really natural looking, you know, cable sort of laying on the ground, okay? But watch this, okay, watch this, just watch. This is crazy. So let's say we wanted to 
connect this cable to this cube. I mean, doing that would be annoying because you would need to go here and extrude that motherfucker, you know, up here and you just fix that. It would just be a nightmare. So what Cable Rater uh, allows you to do is just mental. You select the cable, select the point you want to draw from, shift out C, and then you create a cable. And you can see now here that the set point, the first one, is already uh, marked because it's this one. Now, if I'm going to click here, it will automatically connect this uh, to this cable and adjust the resolution after you click. I mean, wow. So that, there you go. There you go, guys. There you go. This is crazy. Okay. This is freaking crazy. The same way. Okay. The same way you can connect to drone cable. So if I draw a cable in here like this, right, and I wanted to connect these two cables, I have to select them both select these two edges shift alt i mean these two words shift alt c and we're going to merge endpoints okay and there you go and you got one cable now you can use this with um, a decal machine so if you have this cable here like this we're going to uh, change it to geo so Control a and virtual to geo and we're gonna see this mesh, right? So select the mesh in edit mode. Uh, actually, we're gonna add some mats. So alt M add the mat. Let's go to preview here. And uh, now we're going to go to edit mode, select everything D. And I'm just gonna run one of our trim sheets. Now these trim sheets you can get through the uh, ultimate trim sheet and decal pack. We have it heavily discounted. You can save like 200 bucks on it. So go ahead and grab it. You can get it through the course, the A to Z environment design with trim sheets, or you can just join our membership and do some trim sheets over there as well. So I can click on this trim sheet six, let's say here, and it will automatically run this trim sheet through the cable. Now, if I hold control and scroll through, I can choose one of these, you know, options here. Look at this. I mean, I got cable created in literally a few clicks and uh, then you can add the connectors you know, and all that. And how awesome is this? If you combine this with the new pack by Chip Walters, the definitely EV materials pack, which was updated to cycles and EV materials pack, uh, link again in my video description, this pack I've been using for ages uh, and it's fantastic. So if I, for example, add here some, let's go with grime. So let's go to other and let's go to grime floor like this and we're gonna add you know add material and this was a, um, this was updated to work with uh, blender cycles as well i mean look how cool this looks and you know then you can add some dirt on top of it another way of running cables would be to you know grab a cube here like this and simply grab these two uh, cubes and run a cable between them so you could create a cable uh, from selected objects and you're gonna run a cable for you okay all right, so I think this will be it, guys. I mean, I'm not going to be covering everything that this add-on can do because we'll be here for like four hours. But I suggest you look into documentation. Some of these users are very niche and, you know, they're mostly for created by the, uh, the add-on maker just for his own needs. But you can look into that. There's some interesting um, options here as well. They're going quite deep. So, uh, you know, they're pretty interesting. And you can create some, you know, some interesting profiles with curves and run your very, very unique cables. So you can do some cre pretty crazy stuff with it. But the amount of time that you save with this add-on is beyond, you know, is, is hard ups level, okay? Because cables and curves, if you try it ever in your life, try to, you know, run cables and curves in Blender with vanilla tools, you know how fucking maddening it is. This is probably one of the worst and the least intuitive tools in Blender curves, right? Nothing works the way you intend it. Everything is broken. So use this add-on. It's fantastic. It's only 14 bucks. Like I said, link in the video description. I've been using Cableator for almost two years now, and I am absolutely in love with this add-on. And every time I make cables, this is a, you know, go-to add-on for me. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.